My beautiful Taurus friends, how are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so excited to have you all here today. And those of you that are new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Ria and I do these readings every week. Now, this is a general reading, so I do please ask that you take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if you're interested in a personal reading with me, my information is in the description box below. I'm super excited because today's reading is all about what you can expect in 2023, what your life is going to be like. And I've got three tarot decks I am using today for this reading. My very first deck, I'm going to use um, one card here to pull the overall energy for what 2023 is going to be like. And then I've got my tarot deck where I'm going to pull five cards and then my very accurate deck at the end, I'm going to pull one card to tie the whole reading together and get a confirmation or whatever this deck would like to let us all know. So my beautiful Taurus friends, I hope you're ready. We're going to find out from Spirit Guides what message they have for you for 2023. What is the overall message? What is the overall energy that Taurus, my beautiful Taurus friends, need to know here? Spirit Guides. All right, Taurus, let's take a look. Wow. So we're getting receive. That is your card here, my friends. This is super exciting because we know what receiving is, right? The universe is going to be giving us beautiful things in 2023 and we have to be ready to receive them. All right. So I'm going to read this card to you here. Okay. Let yourself take it all in Taurus. Allow your heart to receive love and praise from others. Give yourself permission to accept gifts and compliments with humility and grace. This is what the theme of 2023 is going to be like for all of you, my Taurus friends. So look at that. It's all about receiving and taking things in, having humility and being grateful for what we are being given through the universe, through spirit guides, which they bring in through people in our lives. So I feel for a lot of you, you're going to be receiving quite a bit in all aspects of your life here, Taurus. So get ready for 20. 2023 to be a major major improvement year for some of you all right I'm already feeling this energy here for you Taurus so uh, let's put these cards aside and pull five tarot cards and see what other messages we are receiving here from spirit guides so open your hearts up Taurus and receive that energy welcome it into your life all right, because 2023 is going to be a huge year for you. I'm already feeling that uh, feeling of openness, that feeling of receiving, that feeling of your heart feeling satisfied and um, overwhelmed with joy. Okay, so I feel for some of you, you're going to really love where your life goes in 2023. All right. What do my beautiful Tauruses need to know? What is coming into their lives in 2023? First card I am getting is the Death card. I'm getting Page of Pentacles. I am getting the Queen of Pentacles. I'm also getting the Lovers and the Six of Cups here, okay? So what beautiful energy here, Taurus. My goodness, I'm so excited here for you. All right, let's align these cards so I can take a good look at what is going on. So definitely there is a major transformation going on here in your lives. I feel for some of you, you can also feel this coming in, okay? Especially because we are getting the death card here. All right, so take a look at this. I feel for some of you, you have come into a place in your life where you know that there needs to be changes made, okay? And things that um, aren't serving you in any way, things that are uh, toxic to your life, like toxic friends, toxic behaviors, toxic patterns, toxic habits. These are all things that you need to release before you walk into 2023 here, Taurus. And spirit guides really want you to focus in on shedding some of these uh, negative habits, these uh, repeat, repetitive uh, negative behaviors, um, patterns, whatever it is that you have going on in your life that doesn't benefit you or help you move forward 
support in your life are the things that you need to shed out of your life or to leave them behind and uh, don't bring them into your 2023 here Taurus that is what uh, this message through the death card is some things do need to end and um, <clears throat> the only way to move forward is through change right so if you remain the same if things remain the same if your habits remain the same uh, throughout your life you're never going to see changes so in order for change to occur you my friends need to also change so I feel um, this is a year 2023 where major shifts are happening for a majority of the signs in the zodiac and for you I feel you know now's the time to put those roots in wherever they are uh, for you where wherever it is that you're wanting to go to really plant those seeds and to grow in the place that you want to be in in 2023 I'm seeing huge improvements coming into your life Taurus I feel this time next year you're going to look at yourself and be in a completely different position okay and I feel if you put the legwork in and you actually plant those seeds take the necessary action steps you're gonna have a major shift in your life and I feel for you there are small changes that you are making right now i'm already feeling that through spirit guides here and um you know for some some of you i do feel there is um there's like a metamorphosis feeling kind of happening here um some of you may have gone through some sort of trauma this past year or in the last few years that have hung on to you for quite some time i feel um <clears throat> Some of you may be um, kind of going through some sort of addictions or things that are tougher to give up than others, okay? And I feel if you really work hard and you truly want to make a change in your life that you can, Taurus. And 2023 is the year for you, my friends, where you can expect major changes to happen in your life for the better, okay? So know that. Know that the universe is backing you this year 150%. You can count on that. You are receiving the receive card. Let yourself take it all in and allow the universe to give you opportunities, okay? They're going to be presented to you. You just have to open your arms and accept them, okay? Um, I also feel that you all you need to be in alignment with all of that as well. And, you know, to leave behind any kind of blockages you might have. And these are all toxic friends, toxic habits, behaviors, addictions, limiting beliefs, those sorts of things. So I feel for some of you Tauruses, you need to start working on that now and not wait until January 1st rolls around, okay? I feel like this, the little steps that you start taking now are going to make the biggest difference in, in the new year, okay? It'll, it'll be easier to follow through on a lot of things as well. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I've got a cold. I just got over a cold, actually, so I still have a congested chest and stuffy ears, and my nose is a little bit off, so if you see it, uh, me dribbling, I apologize in advance. Um, yeah, so I feel, you know, this is kind of with majority of the signs here in the Zodiac, but I feel for some of you Tauruses, um, you know, there are some of you in life that have really had it rough, I feel like, and um, I, f I don't know why spirit guides are letting me know about, um, you know, leaving behind alcohol. I think alcohol is a major factor in some of your lives here, okay? Um, cutting that out completely is probably a good thing for you in 2023 to make it a point to... Um, put that on your list of goals to cut it down as much as you possibly can, Taurus. Um, even socially drinking is probably not a good idea. I feel for a lot of you, your health is at risk. So, you know, really focus in on that and take care of your health. I feel like some of you really need to know that um, your health comes first self-care comes first in 2023 and that is what spirit guides really want me to relay to you right now all right and we are getting the page of pentacles here as well so i do feel for 
a lot of you, there is going to be good news coming in throughout 2023. Again, you're going to be receiving a lot of beautiful, good things that are going to put a smile on your face, everyone. So, <clears throat> you know, um, these are things that you need to allow your heart to receive and to accept. I feel for some of you Tauruses, you have a hard time uh, receiving things or accepting things from others like gifts. It just feels awkward, right? But to allow people to give you things and feel good about it and not put a sour um feeling towards that. I used to be like this. I used to not like it when people would give me things. I felt, it just felt awkward. I didn't like it. I would give people gifts all the time, but when I'd receive them, it was just an odd feeling. I've gotten over that now, right? It, it took a little while because I just don't know how to receive gifts. It, it, and for some people, it's actually a real, real uh, issue, right? So for some of you, I do feel um, that receiving gifts from people is kind of an awkward feeling for you, but allow yourself to open your heart to bring that uh, energy into your life. And here with the Page of Pentacles, I do feel there is so much coming in, especially with this person who is kind of getting their um, ground stabilized for positioning themselves in the place that they want to be. So I feel here in the Page of Pentacles for you, there's a key on this branch that was left for this person. So I feel for some of you, there is a door and opportunity coming in that is going to allow you to grow in the place that you are in right now. And I do feel that there is something really good coming in. It's in a distance here, but it's coming into your life fairly quickly here. So learn to uh, invite the beautiful gifts that the universe wants to give to you into your life here, Taurus. Okay, because there's some beautiful, beautiful things coming in. And I feel for some of you, you are um, getting the opportunity of a blank canvas. Um, and this is kind of like an open opportunity for you to really create what it is that you truly want with your life come January 2023 and moving in throughout that whole year. And to release any kind of negativity that might be attached to you as well. And I think you understand what these attachments are, Taurus, whether these are um, negative thoughts or patterns that you keep repeating in your life, keeping you in the same place that you have been for the last few years, right? Um, the change comes within yourself first before it is shown outward in your surroundings. So for you, I feel working on this as hard as you possibly can, um, even taking ne uh, small necessary steps in order to move in the place that you want now is probably the best thing for you, especially if you want things to move quicker in the new year. Um, <clears throat> I've got here the Queen of Pentacles as well. So, you know, you have the Page of Pentacles first, okay? So I feel for some of you, there's things that you need to build on. You need to plant your seeds in order to see them grow. So this could be you... Um, putting goals together and actually taking action steps towards those, building the necessary skill sets you need in order to move forward or on onto the next level of your life, okay? For some of you, I am seeing some major opportunities as far as career and job coming in, um, which is going to change your life in a huge, huge way here, Taurus, okay? So be open to receiving these opportunities because I am seeing some, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing a really big opportunity as far as upping you in your financial game here. And this is something that is going to come to you either in a form of a job opportunity, career opportunity, or somebody offering you some sort of an investment in what you are currently doing as far as work. This could be your home job, maybe you're an entrepreneur, but I do see someone coming in and um, offering you finances in order for you to uh, move forward or push you forward in the direction that you're wanting to go. Okay, that is what I'm seeing very clearly here. 
And with that being said, I've got the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like the minute you take charge and start making things happen, the faster you're going to see the results of your hard work. Okay, here this woman is um, opening this um, like chest up in the ground. And she's got this pentacle, this star, this beautiful um, item here um, that is worth, to me, this is worth a lot of money. This is worth a lot. This is something she's worked very hard for. It's taken her a while to get to this place, but I do see financial independence coming into your life, especially those that are wanting to know about finances for you in 2023 i do see you gaining financial independence but again this is going to be through all of your hard work in work and what you put in to um really grow yourself and what it is that you're trying to do with uh your life here taurus um the more work you put in, the more you will see, the more growth you will see in your life. Okay, and you're going to work towards something that is much bigger than um, what you actually expect and what you're um, planning. I'm seeing something bigger happening here for you in 2023. Um, and you're going to see those results probably mid to the end of next year. Okay, so put in that work, put in that hard um effort whatever it is that you're doing do do it to your fullest potential okay and spirit guides are uh, saying not to half half ass it okay so that is the word i am getting half ass isn't that funny okay um <clears throat> for those of you that are single tauruses i am seeing that there is uh new connections coming into your lives in 2023 this is in all forms this is uh, relationships like networking you're going to be meeting new people building new um, relationships with um, like-minded people in your life I'm seeing love coming in here for a lot of you as well so those of you that have been searching for that one that life partner that soulmate I do see that coming in for some of you towards mid uh, mid next year uh, spring to mid next year I do see um, I'm seeing people partnering up so I don't know what that's all about I'm seeing love partners okay I'm also seeing collaborations or some sort of alliances being made here um, in your life Taurus so uh, you can look forward to that again to open yourself up to receive what the universe is offering you in 2023 because there, I'm seeing so many things coming in. I'm seeing people coming into your life from your past. Okay, I'm seeing people um, <clears throat> re-entering your life as well. Um, and that's up to you how you want to go about that. But remember, you are shedding any kind of negativity that is surrounding you right now so if there are people that are from your past that if you've had negative experiences with just be mindful of that not to allow that type of energy to flow back into your life okay because I do see that sort of thing coming up um, probably closer to um, uh, springtime um, even the, into the fall here okay I feel some of some someone's going to I'm getting this energy of someone um, kind of looking you up for whatever reason. They're keeping an eye on you uh, and something's going to spark their interest. This is probably an ex or this is probably an old friend where you lost ties to on a negative note. And they've kind of kept their eye on you here, Taurus. And I feel this person is going to uh, re-enter your life in some way, whether they shoot you a text, whether they reach out to you on social media. And I don't think it's a good idea allowing this person back into your life because this could cause a lot of um, disturbances for you in many different areas of your life. So that's just a little cautionary um message coming in here from the universe and I'm also seeing that um, relationships are going to become stronger here I'm seeing some of you Taurus is really getting together with some of your love partners okay this could be your spouse your um, current relationship where you're building this 
foundation together, okay? I'm seeing marriage in the cards for some of you as well next year. So um, there's so many blessings coming in here for you, Taurus. So I'm feeling that your heart is going to feel very full, very satisfied. You're going to be happy. There is going to be joy and bliss all around you. It's just this feeling of overwhelm and we've got this um, not in a bad way overwhelm in a really good way like your cup is overflowing in the most beautiful way um, I could possibly explain to you so if you can imagine this beautiful cup overflowing with this love energy is what I'm feeling here we also have the six of cups and I feel here um there's going to be a lot of strong family bonds being built for some of you, okay? I feel like you're going to gain strength and build the foundation in your home with the people that are uh, closest to you, that you have the strongest ties with, that you trust, and that have supported you in many forms throughout your life. I'm seeing these bonds becoming stronger. I don't know if some of you are venturing out on some sort of a business opportunity with some of the people in your lives, but I'm seeing these bonds becoming stronger and a lot of reminiscing on some of the past things and more so um, the good things and how you have overcome obstacles and struggles together as a team. Okay, that is what I'm getting here from Spirit Guides. And um, some of you may be uh, thinking about, because you're going to receive a message or something, some sort of a communication from an ex or an old friend that is going to take you back to some of those moments and want to rehash some things. And again, like I said, I don't think it's a good idea for you to... Um, <clears throat> really focus your attention there okay but that's you have free will it's up to you you can make whatever choice you want so really listen to your intuition okay and see how you feel about uh, people from your past re-entering your life here okay Taurus but I do feel there is so much changing in your life and all of these changes are going to start to take form in the first three months of 2023 for you're going to see major changes coming in okay especially if you start to make those changes in your life now you're going to see that snowball effect okay so wow what a beautiful reading I feel there are a lot of blessings there's so many things that the universe is going to offer you here Taurus so spread those arms allow and, and invite that energy into your life all right so I'm going to use my accurate deck and we're going to pull a final message something that's going to tie this whole reading together this could be anything so we're going to find out together what this is all about here okay my beautiful Taurus friends Look at this, you are receiving the Wolf Moon card, okay? This is all about restoration, incubation, and growth. Take a look at this card, my friends. All right, so this is all about... I feel for some of you, there is a chapter in your life ending, okay? This is almost like a leveling up in some way so I feel for some of you these last few months or this past year has been like an incubation period where you've been doing a lot of self-work um, but there's a lot more for you to shed here before you move into 2023 so those of you Tauruses that are working on yourself and really trying to improve your life way to go because 2023 is going to be the year where you're going to see the results of that hard work and I'm feeling like, you know, relationships that have gone south for you that were good at some point, um, not in your past, but in your recent past, will have a restoration period, okay? And from those relationships that are going to come out are going to be deeper connections, if that makes sense. So if you had some sort of falling out with someone for whatever reason recently in the last like two years, I feel like some of those people are also going to reach out to you as well. You're going to see some people reaching out to you here, Taurus, in many different ways. But people from, let's say, um, you know, 10 years ago, those are the ones that I would kind of... <clears throat> 
think about before you let them back into your life. But I do see major growth happening in your life for the better. Okay, I'm seeing huge, huge improvements. Like I'm seeing you in a place where you are like the wolf of the pack here. Okay. There is going to, um, you're going to, you're going to be able to call on people and people are going to flock to you in a good way. I don't know what it is that you're doing Taurus, but whatever, project you're working on if you're planning on changing careers start making those moves now start planting those seeds now in your life don't wait until january i feel spirit guides really want you to start focusing in on actually doing the work now starting it now whether that's in baby steps but you need to start putting those seeds in place planting them in order for them to start growing in january okay and to really nurture what it is that you're doing if there's skills sets or if there's something that you're trying to master start um, some of you also need to find a mentor or a coach that is what I'm getting here as well okay so if you're able to invest in a coach or a mentor someone that can lead you in the right direction especially if you are lost with questions and things like that and you need more information um, also spirit guides want you to know there's a lot of information available for free online on YouTube where I was able to um, access a lot of things online and just search for things that work for me and everyone's different right um, also to start manifesting what you want now everybody has a different style of manifesting and to really start um, using um, uh, putting a ritual together for yourself to start manifesting things into your life now okay incorporating manifestation and meditation into your life that is going to push you even further faster Taurus so these are this is just so beautiful because I'm seeing all of you growing into these beautiful places in your life where you're you're in a position where you don't really need to rely on anyone but yourself and it's this feeling of being free okay this feeling of being financially free being stable um, putting yourself in a place where you can um, build roots. That is what I'm getting here. A solid foundation. Okay. This is start shedding the things that you don't, that, that you no longer need in your life right now, Taurus, write them all down if you need to. But I feel there's some, some major changes that are going to start happening and unfolding in your life in the start of 2023 here, my friends. So I'm letting you know, open those arms and receive what's coming in from the universe for you because the universe has some major plans coming in and they're going to benefit you in a huge way and put you far ahead of your peers, my friends. So there you have it. That is your reading here. If it resonates, please comment below. If uh, you're enjoying this reading, hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day. And thank you so much for watching.